Guys, this is Outdoors Channel 44. And I'm going to be doing a video the Glock 19 and the 38 Special J Frame Smith & Wesson. So I'm going to show you that the, both these guns are unloaded. There's nothing in the cylinder. This is the cylinder. And there's nothing in the Glock. There's nothing in the chamber. Nothing in, in the mag. I'll go ahead and show you. Pull the mag out. See, there's nothing in the magazine. So, gun is unloaded. And... So, uh, some of the benefits you get from a Glock 19, there's a lot more rounds. I'll show you. Mag holds 15 rounds plus one. That means you can have one in the chamber. You can rack the slide with a full mag, take the mag out, put another round in the mag, and put the mag back in the gun. So, you get 15 round, 16 rounds in the Glock 19. You get six in the 38 special and uh some people love a love a revolver but i like the glock 19 but uh these are awesome guns and uh it this gun is a j frame smith and wesson it is a single and it is a single double action revolver that means you can just pull the trigger and it will shoot, or you can pull the hammer back and manually cock it. Now, in single action, it is a very light trigger pull, maybe like a pound and a half, maybe not even that. And then single action, it has a pretty long trigger pull, but then it breaks. Breaks say almost the same place the single action breaks. So, yeah. So, I like this gun a lot. Well, this isn't my gun, this is my dad's, but, um, but the Glock is mine. But, uh, yeah, I like this gun. It does have a brown ejector of the cylinder. So you can see that. Help you reload a little bit faster. It does have a one and a half inch barrel. And it's a Smith & Wesson. I like it. J-frame. So, that's a 38. Now let's go to the Glock. Now these are pretty easy to clean. The Glock, the revolver is going to be easier to clean because there, that's all you have to do. You clean the barrel, clean the cylinders, you're done. The Glock is a little bit harder to take apart. I'll take that apart here in a minute. So on the Glock, this is the mag release. Push that, you can get the mag out. So it's 15 rounds, and uh. And pull the side back if the if there's nothing in the chamber side will lock back this is the side release push that down the side goes forward and uh then it has about a four and a half pound trigger pull and it breaks very crisply and uh now and it has a good sight picture you can see that i like that compared to this if you can see that, the Glock is easier to pick up your sights. And uh, here, I'll go ahead and take it apart for you. You have to dry fire it, and then, well, no. Alright, dry fire it, pull it back just a little bit, and then the slide will come back. We'll slide off. So, that's, this is how you take the Glock 19 apart. Well, this isn't, let me go and take it on apart. Alright, so, Glock 19 has your little spring, your barrel, and your slide. That's how you take the Glock 19 apart. Then you have access to the barrel, you can clean it, clean the inside the slide, you can clean the recoil pin, or the recoil spring. If you want, that's not necessary. You can clean inside the frame and all you would want to. Get all the crud off of it and lead and everything. The 38 Special, you just open it up and you can clean it right there. The Glock 19 is a little harder to clean, but it's one of the easier guns to clean in automatic 9mm. Semi-automatic 9mm. So, uh, 
So um, this is how you put it back there. Put the barrel back in there. Put the recoil spring in. You have to put it on the bottom notch. There's two notches there. I'll show you that. You see, you have to put the you have to put the knot the this is the notch you want your spring to be on. Not this one, just this one. I don't know why that other notch is there. I guess to keep the another precaution is the recoil spring is to almost come out. That little notch will keep it from coming all the way out. But uh that shouldn't happen. So then you just put it back onto the bottom notch and then you just slide it back onto the, the frame okay there you go and then I'm gonna take the I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the slide of the magazine out work the slide and make sure it's all good and you're good for the Glock 19 now they're about the same size. The Glock, the 38 is going to be a little bit wider. You can see that just a the cylinder would be wider than the Glock 19. They're both good guns. They're both reliable. Got the 38 Special. They're just about the same size. The third, they're about the same length. And this way, the 38 Special is a little, little smaller. The grip is a little smaller. It might be easier for a woman to hold on to the gun. But it's whatever you want to lose. If you want capacity or do you want a little bit more reliability and a little bit smaller, Glock 19 is a good gun. They're both good guns. Smith & Wesson, Glock. They've been in competition for a long time, especially with the M&Ps and the Glocks. That's uh, They've been in competition of people buying a Glock or Smith & Wesson for years. So uh, there you go. I hope I covered everything. Um, now you could put a laser or flashlight on the Glock. The 30, uh, the Smith and Wesson, you could have a grip, a grip laser, but whatever, it doesn't matter. But uh, it's going to be more expensive to get a grip grip laser on the 38 than to just get a laser for the Glock 19. But it's whatever you prefer, whatever you prefer. I like the Glock, so you make your decision. So. Come on guys, please subscribe if you like this video and don't forget to like it. And guys, come on, get outside, do something fun, and live a dream every day.